a dude hits you up on Instagram, you know, yeah. wants to shoot content, it's hard to see what's good for your career and what's not. Which I'm gonna suck and which I'm gonna pass on, you know, what's gonna get me further? Couldn't have said it better. Grab balls. bite <laughs> by the balls and taste the rainbow. Mamma mia, guys. We just did an insane, massively beautiful, iconic nude shoot with all these man models at a Bel Air mansion. The full vlog is gonna be on my main channel, but now I just wanna go down deeper on them. So make sure to like this video right now, subscribe to the channel for uncensored and raw conversations every single week, and now enjoy the conversation, bro. Three, two, one. Sink. Mm. You know, we're professional podcast. Have a seat here. Have a seat here. You make your way up into this <clears throat> thing. All right, guys. What is up, my friends? Welcome to Uncensored, the podcast where we're going to share our uncensored truth from our balls straight into your beautiful faces. <laughs> yeah, we just finished the photo shoot. Good job, guys. I got to say, yeah. good job. Good job, everybody. Good job, everybody. So again, Wyatt's here, you flew in, where are you from man? Arizona, right? Arizona. You flew in specifically for the photo shoot, I hired you. I drove here today. Oh, you drove, <laughs> I drove today. here yesterday. Nice. I drove, yeah. And you guys know each other from before, right? Yeah, for years now. Nice. Whenever I first came to LA, yeah, okay. we became friends and you stayed in touch with us. Yeah, because I met yeah. you at a modeling photo shoot in LA, at a we casting had a, or something. We a whole conversation about Germany and the castles Did and the you, elevator. And I love your energy, you know? Sometimes yeah. you just meet somebody at a casting and some models are just like, so, man, it's kind of competitive, you know, yeah. we walked in, we talked about everything, about Germany. It was shit. cool, right? Yeah, yeah. No, I always love that. Yeah. And then I always see your photos on Instagram, you uh -huh. know what I mean? And you just posted this photo on Instagram, put it right here. This shit got like 70,000 likes. Right. Yeah. And yeah. it's literally, I mean, I can see, your, I have an understanding of what your dick looks like now, you know? <laughs> I have a question for you. How do you post that stuff without Instagram banning your fucking life? I have no idea. Famous. I suppose that they enjoyed, um, they might have enjoyed it. <laughs> I'm just <kidding. laughs> Instagram enjoyed that shit too. You know? like, too good to take <laughs> No, I don't know. I didn't even notice until I went to post it. It was more so about basketball and then, you know. It's not about <laughs> basketball! <laughs> Bro. He's like, oh yeah, this this, this photo this photo is supposed to support basketball, it. bro. You didn't see it? Yeah. Oh yeah, I showed you, right? Yeah. I think I showed everybody. I showed Jeff, I showed my friends, my grandma, my mother, you know. Oh, shit. They're all fans now. Oh, I love okay. And I think everybody else is gonna Let's be get too them now. A free subscription. <laughs> Man. 30 day free trial. subscription for the next no, You have you ever had shit taken down of Instagram? Uh yeah, if you look back at the history, I do think I've had like one post ever, and I don't remember what it was was but yeah oh, I think man. so you can go through the histories because when you follow or comment or something you stuff stuff yeah. stuffing down all the time okay really? it's always on my ass yeah, yeah, that's mine. why that's another reason why I started all that because Instagram was always taking my shit down so I was like yeah so you guys wait but you guys are I both can't post what I want to you know okay because I can relate to you guys because all four of us we were like professional fashion models right right <laughs> professional fashion models <laughs> is it still so, are you guys still actively modeling or like yeah, do you yeah. still go to castings and stuff yeah but the thing is is that yeah. modeling is is a strange industry in my opinion you know it's yeah. like Tell me you, about it, yeah. you know the the you you have a lot of people are trying to control you but you can decentralize yourself like by getting on it only fans decentralize yeah, like, like bitcoin bro only fans like bitcoin you know <laughs> like decentralize that shit i love yeah. it man i love take it take the yeah. power in your own Honestly. dms and shit yeah. so yeah. what you professional modeling like you were also from arizona you were scouted and shit and then you just did you go to milan and stuff or what would you do no no i moved to la for a year and a half and then uh, that's where i met him yeah. and i was hey, struggling i mean I wasn't getting any jobs in LA when I first moved there, so you modeling didn't? modeling was really hard for me. And yeah. um, so I decided to go to Asia for like a yeah, year. Like, where did you go? Okay. Yeah, yeah, Eight. Yeah, yeah. So I went to Philippines for four months. Which Philippines, is yo, I'm not just saying. Shout this, out man. to Philippines. Beautiful Philippines, place, right? what agency were you with? Philippines. I was with uh, uh, Elite. I think. Elite. Yeah, they yeah, offered I, us a contract. Yeah. I gotta tell you, man. I went to the Philippines uh, 2019 for like five days. I shot a video where I just wanted to see how far I can go without planning anything. I did oh, a meetup. I did a meetup, bro. Like so many people showed up in a park in Manila. Yeah, so lovely. The people's energy are yeah. so fucking nice. We also nice did a meetup at that party. I think. Yo, I never did that. I never did the meetup. And like they invited me to their homes. I stayed with New Ooh. Monarch, an agency. So I stayed with an agency, and I was supposed to stay there for only like five days. I extended three times. I stayed up. I stayed two and a half months in the Philippines. What the real? The energy is so good. The photo like. 
such good photographers too, mm -hmm. like great energy, you know? Yeah. I it love that. Oh, it's just people like, it's weird, you know, if you're American, it's like they really love American culture. Yeah. And if you represent that, they want to give you free things, worship you, like they're crazy over us. Yeah. And I mean, I love the energy. It's like it, money gets you a lot further too, money. you know? I did a, yeah, money and yeah. money talks, man. I did a social experiment where I tried how far I can get with a hundred dollars in the Philippines. And uh, it took me like three, three days in El Nido, including food, and I got a, uh, a Filipino massage at 11 p.m. on my last day for five dollars. And you know how that is. You know how that turns out. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was like, yeah. Have you ever had a, um, did you ever get a I never sexual got, massage? I never, I never had a happy I've always massage. enjoyed no, them. Man. I've had them here as well. Well, we can make that happen tonight, boys. We can make that happen Let's tonight. Are you guys ready? We have about Kevin's got left. the oil right here, you know? <laughs> yeah, and so what's the plan now with uh, like your modeling career? Oh, Are you like doing any trips soon or like you staying? You're killing the modeling game in Arizona. That's your niche? Yeah, yeah, I, I, love, I love living in AZ for the moment. Uh, I'm still modeling there. Um, I get a job like... Whenever agency sends me one. Okay. Um, to, to, to be honest, like, <laughs> to be honest, I'm not as focused on the modeling. I guess I'm more focused on like, just like the entertainment side. Is like, I want to do more TikTok. I want to do more YouTube potentially. Yeah. You know. Well, you're in the right place, my friend. Public. Yeah. Figure. yeah. Just like a public figure, and so. Modeling's just a blessing, you know. It's yeah. an absolute blessing. I it don't want to take beginning, it. Beginning starting place. Yeah, I don't want to take it as like my. Uh, I don't see myself like. I think modeling in general for a lot of people is like a, a, a jump, like a, a starting point that gets yeah. you to do other stuff, right? Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. People, amazing. Your yeah. following maybe grows. Hopefully, yeah. it does. Um, that gives you access to the world wherever they come from. You that's know? how you meet people like us, and you know. That's who, like that's how you meet Kevin, who oiled you up, and you know, fluffed you up. Oil oil you know, all started you up. Imagine, <laughs> if, imagine if you didn't have that, you wouldn't get fluffed up. That's what I also see because, like, I, I've I've traveled all over the world with modeling. Went to Singapore, Korea, Philippines, Milan, New York, all the stuff. You could go to the Philippines as a tourist. It's gonna be great. But right. If you go to Korea, for example, and you have an agency, you get a network, you can meet people already. It's so cool, and that's what I love about modeling. I want to do that. Yeah. I have a friend. That's my favorite career. part about modeling. Do you guys want to go back to Asia? You think you can do that at some point, or a like, million percent? Yeah, I'm down. I'm, I mean, down. I'm down. I have friends out there too. Yeah, let's percent. do it. Okay, Introduce Philippines 2021. We're coming for you, motherfucker. As soon as the fucking <laughs> pandemic Tarana. started, yeah. Tarana. Do people make money as models in Philippines, or is it just like a not I mean, as much? You know how you can make I mean, money over there. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you can make money. You can make money over there from. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it depends on you. Know. Prostitution, <laughs> right? That's a good way to make money. Always. No, I'm saying like uh, in the Philippines, it's like the jobs don't pay as much, but definitely there's not as much competition because you, bro, you're a fucking ripped, beautiful man. I'm just gonna say this right now. You know, you come to LA, you don't get a lot of jobs, right? Like, fuck, what's what's up with that? You know, it's hard. Yeah, there's so many good-looking dudes in LA. There's so much competition. Ooh. People are desperate. Rent's so expensive. Bro, you can make less money if you go to the Philippines, have a much more better lifestyle. Yeah, the yeah. lifestyle is unbeatable in Asia. Yeah. Unbeatable. Yeah. yeah. I really got to experience how it was a little bit. That's like, like zero anxiety. You have nothing mm -hmm. to worry about. Yeah, yeah. totally. I yeah. really loved Asia, man, the most. Nothing will compare to Asia so far. In my nice. Yeah. Y'all did a meetup as well? I did a meetup in I the Philippines. It. it went amazing. I've never yeah. done one ever, but you know what? When we go back, maybe we should do it all in the we same day. I'm planning. So my, our plan in life is, I always say I, because Jeff is basically my wife now, you know? <laughs> so uh, <laughs> I want to go back to Germany where I'm from, you know, uh, oh, I'm in, go in August. And then uh, you both are German, right? I'm yeah. half German. Yeah. You know, uh, we I'm, have different I'm German just, last I'm, names. I'm Russian German. So yeah. yeah. 50, 50. What's your last name again? Kushman. Cushman. So my, my yeah, German, German last name would be Forberger. 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 Very nice. Very <laughs> That's nice. Strong yeah, I'm the weirdest name. German. I'm the most German out of you guys. Like, you know, and you sound like the Italian. <laughs> I'm like the least German. Like Jeff looks more German. You guys actually, you know, have the most like German names. Like my my last name is uh, Adrian. Sounds so pretentious. It's like French, right? So my name is like Mario Ma Mar Mario Leon Adrian. So it's like an Italian first name, a Spanish second name. And a French last name. My mom wanted to confuse the shit out of people. You know, I was like, yeah. you know, this German, we're gonna give him a hard time. Basically, you know? it's I all the countries name, having sex. So exactly. One name. <laughs> that's, that's what my name. I never looked at it this way. I love it. It's I like a threesome between I countries. They I love, love this. Yeah. <laughs> Where does this come from in your heritage? Well, I don't know. I must come from the Neanderthal. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you're like such a man. Also, do you want to share your age? Oh, well, I mean, I'm 21. I, you know. I'm 21. 22. 22. <laughs> Look at that. Look at, like, zoom in on my chest here. 
I have not like seven chest hairs right now, you know? I feel this that. This dude, I feel were, that. You, I, were well, you born with a bush on your chest? Did you come out of the womb just rocking <laughs> a fucking... Came out with a big old curled mustache. Yeah. <laughs> Handlebar. This man's the hairiest man I ever met. Straight yeah, up. yeah, yeah. <laughs> people like that. I think it's a look for you. There's it's like a, a niche. People want it's a niche. niche. It's a niche. Yeah. Yeah. There's like a what? Uh, Kevin, hand you hand might know this. Like There's like a yeah. uh, what's it called? Like uh, they're called uh, bears. 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 But you're yeah. 21. Bears. Like bears aren't bears <laughs> older gay <laughs> men? 36. <laughs> older gay men are bears, right? You're 21. Well, bear. it's like a, yeah, it's kind of like, like a, a teddy bear, dad like a baby bod, bear. hairy, kind of muscular, but fat muscular. I don't know. There's like different versions, I guess. But that is kind of the vibe. Yeah, like. Maybe they have a few black, like white hairs, so yeah. gray hairs, but that's cool. All bearded up and shit. So Jeff, how do you feel like shooting with these gentlemen here, who are like, uh, you know, more than half your age? These young stallions. Yeah. They're my inspiration. Right. As a matter of fact, we need to do some, some explicit content. <laughs> the way you said that. The way you said that, though. Yeah, you know. Really, he's not looking at your eyes right. He's just looking at your mouth right now. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like, some explicit when this is content, over, I need right. you to. Yeah. It's about five minutes, about five minutes. <laughs> yeah. Yo, but I love this. You know, we just met basically, I mean, I just met you yeah. literally a couple hours ago. We literally. met like briefly at this casting. I'm like, you know, I love how comfortable we are just jumping into a fucking pool here at this mansion. Of course. Getting naked. Like first shot Kevin did was like, uh -huh. hey, drop your pants, guys. Let's get oiled up and let's get going. You know? <laughs> the homeowners really? are yelling at us. I, I can't believe well, that they that For some odd reason, they decided to rent this place out. And then they also gave a showing of the property while we're here. Oh, yeah, yeah, So we're basically I, naked out by yeah. the pool. They got a double show. They got a second show for yeah, free. To yeah, to give you guys some context, I rented this place here. It's a mansion in Bel Air. Very expensive, too. It's on uh, Gigster. Beautiful fucking place. And it's like this thing, you know, you want to rent a place to have like privacy and shoots of content here. And then uh, the owner of the place showed up halfway through the shoot. They gave a tour There's while I'm holding my dick. He's so covering his bush and like <laughs> Kevin has his ass out and we're just like shooting there. And she comes down the steps. That's not okay. That's not okay. But you know what I didn't think was okay was that whenever she was going up the balcony, I was like, she was talking to me, so I'm looking up at her, obviously, but she has these big poofed out shorts on that like I just see directly through them. Up the pants leg. Up the pants leg. Up the pants leg. She wasn't wearing pants. No, no, like just ass crack. I was like, okay, okay. Interesting. Do you like that? Are you into that? I look. Some milk. Like, do you like women also? Oh, yeah, I love. People can ask that. That's a bit. People watch that video, by the way, just to find out if you guys are gay or not. Like, you know. Cougars. What's your sexuality currently? Well, say what was it before the shoot and what's oh, how's it changed? Yeah. How's it changed well, in the four I've, hours? I've, I've lost all meaning and what it means. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> I think so, you know, fuck, I love that. I love that. I love that. That's a new label, you know? Yeah, yeah I don't know it. He's sexual. like a nihilist, you know? Like, uh, <laughs> a nihilist. Nihilist. Yes, like, yes. I'm German, man. Nihilist. Fuck, man. Yeah, yeah, fuck, man. That's a, the, don't the, give the, a fuck. The cur curious straits. Curious. I, we call things. them. So, <laughs> there's, there's actually, it's not so black and white. It's just no, like, exactly. You can do whatever you want. There's all different colors. There's like red. There's like you know. There's fucking. Everything. Yeah, there's just you know, a rainbow. Like, you know, yeah. taste the rainbow. I love it. I love it. Let's be open in life. Yeah. I Sometimes love life, you just gotta Here, grab girl. the balls and just. Grab life by the balls. <laughs> grab your friend by grab the balls. Grab life by the balls and taste the rainbow. <laughs> wow. He's dropping quotes here. He's dropping quotes here. I love <laughs> that. I love that. Nice, nice, nice. Inspiration. And have you guys always been, because here's the thing, right? I was born in a small town in Germany. Fucking like, I mean, didn't know anybody who was openly gay, right? Then I got into this fashion industry, which Ooh. is very colorful. Next thing you know, I'm like fluffing some dude I just met from Arizona at a mansion in LA, in LA you know? Have you always been comfortable, like, you know, shooting with guys no, or stuff? Or no. were you like, was it, took, it like... It took time. I mean, I'm from sure. a small American town, like 40,000 well, people. You so where you know how from? Republican, conservative America yeah, yeah, yeah. I grew up in that, like, my whole life, so... Wait, but you live in Miami now, right? Yeah. Bro, you look... Okay, when I was this 18. dude is like the most Miami looking... He's the most Miami this is Like, look at this. Miami. This is like... <laughs> the most Miami... If I had to guess, I would say yeah. he lives in Miami, you know? Like, Facts. do you have a yacht? I wish. You okay, know, maybe cool. I could Soon. find a way to get one. Yeah, okay, cool, cool. Follow this dude on Instagram so you can afford a yacht at some point. We can all get <laughs> yeah, a yacht. Let's in the start yacht. a GoFundMe. Okay, cool. GoFundMe me for the for yacht. For a mega yacht. Let's not save like world hunger or something, you know. <laughs> Fuck it, no, let's get this guy a yacht, brother. You know, that's, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. I love that. I love that. Yeah. Oh, and I, what, but where are you from originally, you know? Um, Maryland. So Maryland. Maryland, yes. Like an hour from DC, yeah. I want to like go to the like uh, fucking like other. Yeah, I've only been to LA and New York, you know? Well, 
and it doesn't represent America. I have a standard set about Hell this. No. My whole knowledge about the US is based on uh, High School Musical, The Hangover, <laughs> and American Pie. Yeah. Well, so I was fucking. Yeah. Ex- I was expecting to be like hanging out with cheerleaders, you know, yeah. waking up with a tiger in Vegas and fucking apple pies with my friends. Yeah, fucking apple pie. Yeah. Does yeah. not happen. Well, that's not what happened tonight. Nobody wants to fuck apple pies with me. I, I'll fucking apple pie tonight. Yeah. All right. <laughs> if this video, get if this video gets tonight. five thousand likes. We're gonna fuck apple pies for an OnlyFans. I swear to God, and we won't. Bro, we won't eat bro. it. That's a thing, man. And we'll, we'll sell it when no. we're finished. That's yeah. Golden. Who wants a, a, a cream-filled <laughs> apple he's pie? Thinking, he, <laughs> oh my God. He's thinking way ahead. <laughs> You're a businessman, dude. You're it's an inspiration. Dessert. I love that. Business, I love that. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm gluten free right now. I'm doing oh. this paleo diet well, thing. You my can just get the really cream too. out of the pie. I think so. I, I think <laughs> I can still fuck free. one though. He didn't say <laughs> just scrape the cream right out of the pie. <laughs> no <laughs> cream is fucking like oh. <laughs> no. He said I shouldn't be eating any wheat and dairy. You know, but he didn't say I can't f- make love to it. You know? Oh yeah. yeah. So yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> maybe yeah. you're it. drinking <laughs> milk, but it's not like normal milk. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not following this guy right now. <laughs> I'm not following you right now. <laughs> Jesus. So, oh. what's your guys' diet like? I asked you this before, but like, bro, you've got like the most ripped body I've seen probably. Like, he's got like, yeah. he's got the chest wow. hair, you know, but I'm this very, guy is like, has like, has like 2% body fat. How do you do that? Yeah, I don't, uh, it's, I, I don't know. I, <laughs> Cocaine and steroids. No. So, like, I would say every In day, one job. <laughs> I'll just like go through what I eat on a normal day. Like I'll wake up, I'll have like a coffee and then I like an acai bowl, some fruit, and then just like high protein meals. So based off protein, like chicken, steak, uh, a lot do of you vegetables. Eat, do you eat like uh, grains, like rice or something or no carbs? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, for sure. I definitely try to eat like more carbs because I run a lot. I run a oh, lot. Oh, you run a day. lot? Yeah. yeah. And cool. I work, I work out with weights like almost every day, so. All right. Yeah, so I, I mean, know. I have a routine that I try to follow two hours a day, and yeah, so I just notice like, if I'm in the best shape, like my, I don't know, like a lot of things in my life are, are better, you know? Like, I mean, we are mob, right? There's <laughs> such a pressure, dude, like, and I- There's so much pressure too. See, yeah, I like sure. it at the some, at one point, but at the other hand, I miss like, sometimes when people go out to dinner and they have like, you know, my girlfriend, for example, she had like, you know, they have like pizza and ice cream and stuff, and I'm like, I, I can't, I don't even, like I'm so far detached from that because I've been modeling so, so long right, yeah, that yeah. I couldn't even, and it's fucked up in a way, it's good in one way because you don't eat that shit so much, but like I cannot enjoy genuinely ice cream or pizza because in my back of my head I'm always thinking about the repercussions of that. Exactly. Right? Exactly. So, so much guilt. It's yeah. a little fucked up. Yeah. 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 I would say, I would say like I just try it's to find... It's white guilt. It's I model guilt. It's guilt. model guilt, you know? I try to find a balance with everything, you know, like it's, yeah. it's hard because... There's certain times where I'll be like too strict on myself and it can make me, mm. can almost make me like kind of anxious, you know, because I don't yeah. want to indulge in any like. Because when I was younger, that, when yeah. I was not modeling, man, I'm from in my, I tell the story to everybody. Um, in the Black Forest in Germany, there's Black Forest cake, very famous cake in Germany, that right? My aunt's a pastry chef. She won an award for the best Black Forest cake in Germany in 2016. Mm-hmm. Well, when I was younger, dude, yeah, yeah you guys should come to Germany. We're gonna go to Germany in August. You guys should come through and I can hook I mean, I'll buy the, my ticket. With really, the best I mean cake it. in the hood. And then I'll stay. I want to do a Euro tour, you know? I'm, I want to see that castle and shit, you know? The castle and shit? We could take pics there. The we can take castle pics, yeah. Castle pics. Castle pics. Dude, Hohenzollern? Hohens, Buch Hohenzollern, that's literally from my house. You can see that thing. Really? Literally, yeah. No way. There's, uh, a, there's a hike from my house, you can, it's We're gonna Hohens- fucking do that and get the best content ever, you know? Exactly, you yeah. You see if they've ever had a cherry fire, uh, what is it called? <laughs> cream filled Schwarz, Schwarz apple pie. Schwarzwälder Kirschtorte. Yeah, we're Bro, gonna we, bring maybe we can fuck that too. Drop it to the front. You know, cover. we make like the American pie version, but like the German version, this you is know? called German so pie. So we, we, fuck, we fuck a black forest cake. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. one, cake, oh. one cake for all of us. Okay, yeah. who's gonna dress the cake? cake? The big question is: Ice if we cake. fuck a cake, who's gonna be top and who's bottom? <laughs> oh fuck! I mean, I'm I'll be on the bottom of the cake. <laughs> I'm but I'm gonna be. <laughs> the cake's gonna be riding a, me. It's I'm gonna a be heart. a double penetration on the cake. Someone's mounting the cake. The other, <laughs> the cake's mounting <laughs> someone. I'm a big top guy. Big top guy. Big top guy. Yeah. yeah. Big yeah. Top guy. You don't want a bottom. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not like the cake's fucking you. <laughs> You have it to can, fuck the it can. I can talk to my. I mean, I'm, I'm next to the source. My aunt can make that shit happen. You know. Yeah. I don't know. Exactly. yeah. Your aunt yeah. into yeah. that yeah. stuff. This conversation is getting very cryptic. I don't know if anybody is <laughs> following at this stage. Her, I know anybody is following. His aunt yeah. wants to make us one of them special cakes. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Yo, you got that seductive vibe going. He's like, you're making hey, me hungry for up. cake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting hungry. You're getting hungry, yeah. For cake, yeah. So oh. what are you, what are you, what are you doing after this? I know. Um, after this? Yeah. Enjoying myself. I mean, what are you guys doing after? I mean, we're doing, we're gonna start the Dinner. group, the group bang, gang bang down there in the gang bang room, you know? Well. Yeah. Well, let's get that done yeah. with. And yeah. Just <laughs> well, get on with our night. It's like we have to start the diet up. I love that, I love that. A little Best bit workout of... in the world, yeah. gang bang. Can't 100%. Gang bang, that's the tip, Drink you Drink know. a bang before you bang. I love yeah. that. What's been your experience this isn't with from a, <laughs> like photographers in the fashion industry? Oh, my experience with photographers? I've yeah. had it. Oh, many, pleasant. I've any, had many good experiences, many bad experiences. We I mean, can't be honest because Kevin's in the room right now. You could know? you share <laughs> a bad experience with us? I would say just like thing. being super uncomfortable and like... Uh, this is when I was like first beginning modeling as well, so okay. I was very new to everything. And when did you start That's when it happens. Like, you kind of just... 18? 18 maybe. You kind of like... It's like I don't know. I felt like you know I really wanted to to yeah, like get get a, get a good shot or like yeah. get, get the shot that he wanted and yeah. sometimes it's like they make you do the the most like it doesn't look like it's a lot of work like I feel like from like a viewer's point of view it doesn't look like you know a ton of work but really like behind the scenes it's like just it could be so many shots and sometimes it gets overwhelming especially when I was first starting like I would take. <laughs> Especially like first time doing like you know just sexy shots and stuff. I was <laughs> sexy. Okay. I was young and like I, I wasn't comfortable behind the camera yet. So like. Well, but did you have an agency at first? Or did they kind of um, like set it up? Because I think my my thing is like I started modeling first and I did a lot of stuff by myself without an agency. So then I would just like say yes to every photographer and sometimes that's just not a good idea. So right. nobody who could yeah. guide me. Yeah, yeah, sometimes yeah. you think you're like guided and stuff, but like honestly, the truth is, man. And now with social media, it's not like in the, in the old modeling days, I guess, you know, back when I was younger, guys, let me tell you, you know, <laughs> or fucking like, you have everything set up by, top, by agencies and stuff, and now a dude hits you up on Instagram, you know, yeah. wants to shoot content, it's hard to see what's good for your career and what's not, you know, for sure, like, yeah. you, it's hard to, you know, evaluate which dick I'm going to suck and which I'm going to pass on, you know, yes. what's going to get me further, you know, that's like, couldn't have said it better. Yeah, 100%, 100%. <laughs> is this guy going to just tell me he can get me the Calvin Klein campaign or, or can he really, really, you know, yeah. has that happened to you? Like, cause I've had, I mean, I, I yeah. share this in every single fucking podcast, but I've literally in Berlin, like, it's usually us photographers maybe that are not that big, but they promise that they make themselves like as if they're the they're biggest like ever. You, yeah. yeah, and they're like, "Yo, I can, you know, oh my God, you're gonna be a star and stuff." And I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna put you on the cover of like, uh, well, that's a Calvin Klein magazine. Yeah, that's not remember? a thing. Who? Oh, Will. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, wait, wait, wait. We got some stories. <laughs> no, Lil Will guy. actually. Was. Yeah. Lil Will. He. That was like one of the most uncomfortable. Yeah. Just. So what do they do? Memories, though? I like, guess. If you if you're comfortable sharing, like, has anybody ever like made? I mean, it's one thing shooting photos. Like for me, it started with, hey, do you want to shoot this nude? And I was like not comfortable with shooting that explicit stuff. But I was like, hey, I can't say no. Otherwise, this guy's not gonna book me anymore. Because like we said, yeah. modeling is yeah, tough. Yeah. You don't make money with it and stuff. You know, especially you now it's competitive. So yeah, I would say that my worst experiences with, would definitely with him because like there'd be certain times because we shared. A very small apartment with me, mm. three other models, and him. Was that like a model apartment deal? No, 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 no. no, no, no. Like it was like 200 square him. foot. But like, was that a modeling agent? He yeah, claimed yeah, to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he was, he was, he was, he was. Okay. He yeah. So, and yeah, there would be certain times where like he would make us like sleep in his bed or like just make us feel really uncomfortable Damn, by trying to give okay. us massages or trying to like touch us and trying to see how far we would go and yeah it just and if you don't if, and if you, you don't, and if you he, don't well, some of these kids that he, he makes you seem like you're not a man like yeah yeah he, he, would, he, he would make he you gaslight like, you he gaslights yeah. you he would make you feel like you're not a man like yeah. if, oh it's just a piece of meat it's just this like no one gives a fuck and Damn. he would hella like manipulate make it seem like the industry is a environment where this happens all the time if you aren't going to do it if you aren't going to do it better, you might better well get used go back to home it. yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. And and at the same time yeah. he was yeah, lucky yeah. enough to not sign the contract i marched in there with him at like 2 a.m one night saying hey we're out of here grabbed his bags guy tried to like physically fight me like calling the shut up so call you, the cops. oh were you guys were in the same place no i wasn't no, he, there he, i lived in la he just helped me he helped me fucking damn yeah you can also check the that's actually that. that's actually like we bonded a lot over that. Yeah, yeah. I mean that was our first yeah. like just after that. I mean we were just we were free best friends. <laughs> we were free. yeah, we were just kind of like best wow, friends. Wow, you uh, saved him from that. Anyway. Well, yeah. it, it's kind of like you know it's so sad for some of the other kids because like I never I never trusted him from the beginning. I, I always thought it was strange. I'm never a trusting person, and like 
you know, somebody that can actually get you something is a different deal. But to like try to say, oh, go back to your small hometown if you don't want to like change your mind, like you're never going to make it. You're and then like lock enough. them in a contract. Hey, but he enough. would lock people yeah. in a contract for like three <laughs> years, making them think, oh, this is what I have to do if I want to like have this nice big life. So then imagine having that small apartment for three years by oh. legal obligation. And if you go to say, fuck you, dude. Uh, I'm gonna go with someone else. Well, you're legally binded to that him. That just sounds so illegal to now, me. Now, <laughs> literally. Well, literally. what he's doing is illegal, but yeah. uh, unless you get a video of him, like, you know, trying to molest you, then I guess yeah. you can't. And really. I mean, a lot of guys also, like, for a guy, it's hard to, like, open up about that kind of stuff. Because then like, it could be public information. And know? also, it's a stigma, man. Like, you know, there's, there's such a big Me Too movement, which I think is great that it's, you know, openly talked about, but it's mainly the conversation about women. Yeah, definitely. But people don't know that like it happens to men as well and there's some shady shit happening and especially in the modeling industry and like as a man sometimes you feel like you can't talk about that shit. Mm. Cuz like I mean, you know, for people make you feel that way. It's not like you should feel that or way. Or you feel like you people, feel like I mean, for example, if you were sexually harassed or assaulted by somebody, you might feel like oh, it's not manly, it's gay or something and then, you know, you don't want to talk about it. I think there's like a more of a stigma around that yeah. with, with men talking about it, yeah. Well, yeah. because I guess maybe that has to do with like the fact that females are small and like incapable of defending mm. themselves against a straight male photographer. Yeah. But as a as a you know, this, you know, this male model that comes from a conservative town and they've never even been around gay people, uh, it, to have that happen to you then and it's like a complete like yeah. world changing shift of like whoa like yeah yeah, yeah. i was this is it's completely like al water. alien to me totally yeah. totally for sure um, yeah and i mean one more quote like that's the thing that happened to me in berlin was like a photographer was like we we're shooting his apartment and he was, was gonna shoot me for some magazine cover like a small as magazine right he was a good fashion photographer in fact he's, he was filipino you know he's the one filipino motherfucker i don't like <laughs> and he was like yo um i'm gonna shoot you for this magazine cover if you you know let me give you a massage and I knew what that mm. was going to mean. And when I said, hey, I don't feel comfortable with this, he literally told me, he told me, hey, Mario, this is the fashion industry oh. yeah. and you're not comfortable. Like he was almost accusing me of not being open enough. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. He flipped yeah. that shit. It's like, make it feel like this it's dude is like yeah. such a fucking yeah. asshole that like harasses me and like uses his fucking power because I was insecure as like a 19 year old model in Berlin. And then right. he blames me for like, being from a small town, not being open enough. So that was some fucked up shit. I was yeah. like, but what's this funny, is this is yeah. the thing I find the most, the most astonishing is that you'll have someone do that, that has done that to not just him, but multiple models. And however, if there's a model out there that doesn't do it for free and has learned that motherfuckers will not just try to give you a piece of shit magazine for it, uh, by maybe 10 times more monetary value, then that same photographer that does that to people will say, look at that motherfucking prostitute. Yeah. yeah say, oh, totally, he's yeah. nothing like you see, he can't do any of that if he wouldn't have been doing blah, blah, blah. Mm. It's like, haven't you tried to do it for like 10 times less to people? I mean, yeah, and it's like a decision you gotta make, you know? And then yeah, it, exactly. spreads, it spreads like wow. Exactly. Was yeah. your negative experience with just with the agent or have you had like photographers everything, directly? Everything. Everything. Yeah. Everything. Everybody. Yeah, Hairstylists, From the agent, photographers. <laughs> well, there's yeah. agents that are like, in, Uber like drivers. actually like pimps <laughs> rather than agents. And then there's photographers that aren't in it for the art. They simply just like looking at hot young guys. Hey, I would fucking love to, you know? Yeah. You know, it's. What's the most a photographer's advanced on you? <laughs> um, literally, just like try to fluff me out in there, like pull, like without even asking me, like try to like pull it down. Because that's the thing, pull you it out, ask, pull it out. Know? Yeah, yeah. Ask, Not even ask. Yeah. <laughs> ask, ask me, you know, like, uh, <laughs> like yeah. Hey, man, you mind if I just, you know, the fluff you up. One photographer said in a very respectful way. He said, like, uh, he looked at me, he was like shooting and stuff. I was like, hey, Mario, look at that. Like, you know, Mario, can you, can we like live a little? He said like this. I was like, live a little. I was like. Okay, I got you, I got you, I got you. Give me, give me, give me, give me one minute. <laughs> I walked away, just like, it's just the most awkward thing in photos, you though, where you're just like, give me a minute, give me a minute. You're, you're you turn around, it. fucking like, trying to like, you know, I'm thinking about like something hot, and I'm like, fuck, fuck, this photographer's watching me, like, so you know. So you're, that's in the back of your his, head, right? I'm paying like $200 for the like, studio really? an hour, you know, like, can you please fluff a little quicker? And I was like, fuck, man, you know? <laughs> that's why you just pull that phone out and watch some Pornhub. Yep. That's the key, that's the trick. <laughs> that's the trick. Wow. It's a well, there is real life lessons right now. This is gonna be like you know, like, it's very relatable for people. You know, so they watch this channel. It's like you know, guys, some inspirational. Uh, if you can yeah. take you away from this. Your so next photo shoot with a photographer. Yeah, yeah. If you ever want to get a hard on, just pull a porn up. It's really easy. Yeah. Pull this trick in the book. I love that. Yeah. I love yeah. that journey for you. Yeah. Right? yeah. I'm not really a Brazzers guy. More of a more a porn up guy. Yeah. I'm more, I'm more of, of like <laughs> amateur porn. You know, fuck the bright lights and. Yeah, I agree. At home video. There's this whole thing about like, um, 
I like the how that's also the appeal of OnlyFans. I think is like that it's not so professional. professional. It looks like almost like Snapchat porn. Like, cause I the stuff I shoot I think for people OnlyFans. Like that more, huh? Yeah, I mean today we shot some more like, personal epic oh, shit yeah. that was beautiful, you know, yeah. and it's like super, it's like almost like editorial style. So shout out to Kevin real quick. Yeah. Shout out to Kevin. Ow. Kevin, uh, we're also gonna have yeah. Kevin on the podcast very soon. You're, I mean, he was killing it, you know. Well, he always does, yeah. Yeah, he's so pretty. He's so and he's pretty. such a pretty. He's yeah. such a pretty. It's my daughter, you know. Wow. So and you know, he lives in the same building as me. This guy, you know. No, oh, he really, right, right now. He right? does. Yeah. Oh, I was there yeah. the other day. It's a nice spot. So we're neighbors. Oh, yeah, he showed me. Yeah, he was we're like, neighbors. okay, if you ever want to kill Mario, he's living over there. Cool. Perfect. <laughs> perfect. 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 <laughs> yeah. And yeah, um, I didn't know that. yeah. I didn't no. know you guys are neighbors. We're neighbors. Yeah. Living in Jeff. LA now. Jeff. We're all LA based now. Jeff got a place in LA now. We're basically neighbors now. We're taking over, taking LA back. Taking over LA. Yeah. Ready to come. What's it like to live in Miami though? I gotta ask you, man. Do you like Miami? Do well, you think? Do you see yourself there long term? Like, what's the appeal? What do you do in Miami, bro? Well, I mean, I have a great routine. You know, I live in Brickle, uh, Brickle. You know, I, I like that. Like, that was where I stayed. Yeah. It's very modern, like yeah. New York. Cleaner though. Nice yeah. sidewalks. Good. Uh, you know, a little bit of trans great restaurants, yeah. great party vibes. Miami's great party vibes. Yeah. But to wake up, have the city on view on my left of the balcony, to the ocean on the right. It's nice and sunny most of the time, um, and beautiful weather. But you're not. It's so humid. It's hot though. In, in the, the summer. summer, but during the winter, it's beautiful. Like, yeah. Yeah. And I, I feel like you know, I go to the gym. I hit you know the club in the weekends and stuff. You know, trying to build a network up. Are you a party boy? Like, do you? Yeah, yeah, I am. I'm half and half. <laughs> I'm like, I love that shit, but if I don't get an invite, I don't force myself into any situation. Okay. So I'm I have a thing. feeling that you're invited to every single party, man. I try. Like this dude, like I cannot <laughs> see you not getting into any party. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm working on it. Okay. I'm working on it. Because yo, we stayed in Miami for two months. We got an Airbnb in Brickle. I fucking loved it, man. Yeah. It's also, it's cheaper than LA. Like my place right now in LA, I'm paying like 2,800 or something, 2,600 now. Uh, in Brickle, we had a place for what, like 3,000 Airbnb. Two months, 34th floor, ocean view balcony that wraps around the Which fucking building, thing. the icon, huh? Uh, no, I forgot what it's called. The, the W? Club Bay Club at the Bay. Brickle Bay Club? Yeah, I yeah. think so, yeah. Brickle Bay Club? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a yeah. few of them like that. And then there's uh, there's another it's one. But it's right, It's I love Brickle, man. It was like, I like you said, cleaner. Said you didn't like Miami. So listen, 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 listen to me. <laughs> I loved it to be there for two months, but like, I also love being bit, around we'll, creative people and stuff. And there's the not scene, as many there. Comedy scene. Okay, I do stand-up comedy, right? That's what I'm getting into. It's my passion right now. I'm doing clubs and shows in LA. Vitaly lives there or whatever. Yeah. Vitaly. Vitaly. He lives there. Yeah, that makes perfect sense for him. That makes yeah. perfect sense. Because <laughs> I think Miami is a place where like you go on yachts and you do blow. And you like, get blown and while doing blow on a yacht. On a yacht. <laughs> on a yacht, exactly, yeah. That sounds like And I nice. feel like LA is more of a place where, you know, you rent a place in Bel Air you know, fluff each other out a little bit and then Get there's just like more creativity yeah. there. You know, I feel like Miami is a place nobody makes money in Miami. People have money in Miami. They retire there or party. LA people hustle, which facts, I like, facts, you know, absolutely. so Word? I, yeah. Word. I need to get into that then. Okay, we'll yeah. see what happens. I want to be a I snowbird. Mean, you don't need to hustle if you have, if you look like you, I guess, you know, depends the, on what yeah. kind of hustling. But I if guess, you hustle yeah. and look like you. I mean, that's the thing that's what I'm trying to do. But also like think on the, on the Miami comedy scene, that's like just, you know, I was in New York, for example, and I was doing comedy clubs and like comedy is like this, right? You go into this, it's, there's open mics where there's a lot of comedians and you do material for them to train your own material, test out jokes. In New York, there was one guy, he bombed so hard and everybody in New York was like, they were rough and they were real like genuine guys, but they were all like, come on, buddy, you know, keep going, man, this builds character, you know, in Miami. They don't even pay attention. There's no like respect for other comics. It's like, it was a weird scene also. Like everything is in bars. People don't listen. It's like very competitive. In LA, it's just like, I don't know. In New York, there's more of that like collaborative so like, vibes, I feel you like. You definitely like LA and New York more than Miami. Right. I love in terms New York. Of what, I live like, in New York in a heart. I, I was modeling in New York. Maybe we should move there or something. Maybe LA. I like maybe. New York for sure. I went there yeah. like uh, not too long ago and the city I'll is figure it out. Yeah. mind blowing. I mean, if you all came oh, to I like fucking, you know. I just came from there like five days ago. Yeah. That's yeah. New York Beautiful. still like has a place in my heart. I don't want, I don't know if I could live there also because it's like New York gives me so much energy, man. In one week in New York, it's like seven weeks elsewhere. I get so much shit done, that. but it also burns you out after a while. So I think LA has got that middle ground of like, yeah. there's things you can do in being productive, but it's also chill. You know, exactly, you got like the yeah, beach, sure. you have like nice hikes and stuff. So yeah. I agree Not with that. that. I love I mean, it. I agree with that. Yeah. Why Arizona? Maybe I should try to move out here. Uh, I'm living in Arizona because I feel like... Texas? 
Texas? Texas. Lower taxes, taxes. right? No, no, no. It's uh, Arizona? I yeah. mean, yeah, it's, it's next to Texas. It's it, like taxes. No, lower taxes. Oh, lower taxes. Yeah, yeah. yeah I forgot that you were a male model, so tax is the thing you pay the government. <laughs> like a percentage like of your Texas, income. Then. I don't know, I'm fucking German, man. I'm sorry, man. It's my fucking accent. What am I going to do, man? Yeah, so right now, so like, I, lo I love living in AZ because I, I feel like it's really central. I can fly, like, anywhere and get there quick. You know? Okay. Um, it's really close to LA. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, it's way more affordable for me. Like, my family's there, all my great friends are there. So, I love living there right now. I mean, uh, in the future, I definitely see myself living somewhere else. But okay. for the moment, it's perfect for me. And all right. it's it's easy for me to stay, like, grounded and focused there, I guess. You okay. Know? So, That's but when, when duty calls, anything calls, I mean, like, you just, like, I literally, get, like, we hit you up. Like, I didn't know That's you. Like, Kevin connected like, us. Yeah. He sent you a yeah. voice message. Hey, man, we're shooting this content thing down. Versa bring your Versace robe, meet us in LA, and you just, like, show up, man. I love that. Yeah, yeah. I just yeah. show up, like, literally walk out of the car just with Versace robe. That's it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You see I see him. that. I see that. <laughs> <laughs> I see that. It's like 100 degrees there right now. Right? Yeah, no, so the only thing about AZ that I don't like is the, is the weather is very hot. So I'm huge into fashion, obviously, but I can't wear anything, like, you're into I can fashion too, barely... so are you okay? Because that's the thing, like I used to work in, as a fashion model for a long time. I'm not a fashionista or anything. I don't I don't consider oh, I myself like yeah? Yeah. <laughs> so you like into brands and shit? Like uh, So many, yeah. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I love designer shit, but everyone does. Yeah. I mean I'm I'm more into like high end streetwear, uh like, like Rude. Balenciaga and No, like like I don't know if you've heard of like Rude or uh It's probably yeah. um maybe like let's see, what's what's another Y3. Good one? Uh, I love Y3. Y3's, that's Y3's everything cool. I own is Y3. Uh, like that's the only designer I like. I love their shit because it's like urban ninja style, and it's like not too douchey. Because like sometimes we like rocking some big Louis Vuitton thing. I'm like, I look like a douchebag. No, I look yeah. like a douchebag yeah, already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, right. Y3 is like that thing where it's still like yeah. a little underground. You know what I mean? I've started to wear a lot more button down, it's dressy. You know, but yeah, I love that style as well. Yeah. And it's a little yeah. bit more. Uh, I like to like think of gentlemen. James mm. Bondish to Ooh, his I look, bro. Sometimes you also speak right now. It's like you know, you have that like you have that subtle tone. You know, it looks yeah. like, it sounds very classy. You know, Thank like you. I could see, I see your future right now. In ten years, bro, you're gonna have a house like this in Bel Air. You're gonna be on a balcony with a French bulldog and a fucking cigar. Yeah. And you're gonna be like, I don't know, inviting your like book club or something, talking about art. We'll be having a reunion and we'll be making new pies. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> And your wife or your husband is going to bake us some fresh apple pie. Cream pie. We're all going to destroy, brother. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I like that. I like that. Yeah. Where do you see yourself in like 10 years? Me? Yeah. Oof. That's such a tough question. Do you think you're going to be like married? Do you, do you want to have a relationship? Do you currently um, have one? In 10, I, I am currently in a relationship. You um, are? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah, yeah, With, yeah. Congratulations, first off. Yeah. I guess. Nice. How long? Like yeah. a long term uh, thing. One year. Yeah. So What's nice. his name? Yeah. Her name is Sarah. <laughs> Sarah. <laughs> Sarah. Yeah. I'm not, yeah, not going to talk about females on this podcast. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but yeah, yeah. we've I'm been glad. together for a year. <laughs> uh, but in ten years, such a hard question for me to answer because I just live life Fuck day yeah, by I day. You know. I, I mean, yeah. like obviously, I want the best. You know, and I'm going to work hard. And do you just, have another like besides modeling and TikTok? Is there another like passion something you like? Because I know. Models, people always have this pre presumption, uh, like this um, preconception. preconception. Thank you, thank you. I, I need, <laughs> I need, like you know, gentlemen, like you on the podcast. Uh -huh. That models don't have the, all they care about is their looks and shit, and they don't have any passions. But I've met so many models who are like, mm. you know, doing other shit. Like one of my friends, he's like a, uh, he's like an artist. He paints shit and stuff. Like yeah. you know, I do stand up comedy. Jeff, it's my wife and. Politics. Yeah. That's yeah. it, basically. But uh, <laughs> well, when I was in high school, I started my own clothing brand, and um, but once nice. I started like actively traveling a lot i i stopped it so yeah but one thing i'm definitely definitely passionate about is clothes so i yeah. want to like create another brand i love um, that um and yeah also another thing that i really want to do is i want to create like underwear for men i love so it yeah. i want to create underwear for men and then like kind of like branch off of that but also like yeah i'm super into like design designing clothes designing interior design like nice you know i love like so maybe you could decorate the the, the pieces for like you know levi's mansion yeah there, you know yeah i would so work i mean out. that's a dream yeah you know? so yeah. like <laughs> but then yeah i mean also like fitness like i love like um 
taking people who want to get fit and like helping them reach yeah. their goals. Like, so totally. maybe like, you know, some like physical therapy. For I family. think you have a lot of options as a model, you know? Yeah. Also in LA, especially if you're good looking, you have so many, so a friend of mine, he's a yoga instructor. I'm not going to call names, Steven. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but he came here. He's from fucking, I don't know, fucking know, Minnesota or some shit like that. He came to LA as a yoga instructor was like, you know, just had his license and shit. And then it's very distracting, I know. <laughs> and then he became a yoga instructor for like very wealthy people in LA, and he mm -hmm. makes a killing now training like uh, celebrities and shit. He makes so much money as a yoga instructor because, I mean, he's good at what he does, but he also he's how a, to he's stretch a, someone out. And also he's a model, so people like very wealthy people in LA. What I, so if you have, it's it's a fact, and it's sometimes sad, but like if you're a model, it's easier to get into different. Yeah, yeah. Fields, sometimes right? I, I feel like oh, almost. Life. I almost feel bad about that sometimes. You know, like yeah, it's like. It's I again that model you know, guilt, yeah, you know, like, you look yourself in the mirror, you're like, fuck, man, there's some, you know. It's called yeah. pretty privilege. Why am pretty I so privilege. good looking? Well, there's nothing wrong with that. That's how life <laughs> works. Yeah. yeah. I'll just like go to my mom and just thank Psychology. you, mom. <laughs> thank you, mom. Nice. Thank you, mom and dad. Nice. I mean, I love that. Know, super blessed to have a good family. So. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Do you have a partner? You're single. Single. Nice. I'm really mingling as well. Really, really mingling. Well. Yeah. He says that wise like that. Heavily camera, right? He's heavily mingling. <laughs> very, yeah. He's heavily A lot of mingling, man. I love that. I love that. stepping yeah. on that one. Yeah, yeah. Have, do you find it hard? Because I found it hard when I was modeling and traveling and shit, and even doing now what I do, like having a partner. Ooh. How does that work my, out? For, my, next, my next relationship needs to be an open relationship. My, my last uh, relationship. <laughs> Um, I don't know. My, my partner know. got way too jealous. It's mm -hmm. not, you know. It can happen. You shoot. It's you just know. the comments. I mean, fucking look at us, you know. We're yeah, like, we get <laughs> hit on, and I'm a kind of promiscuous to an extent, you know. Maybe it's just my age, 21, you know. But I'll go to the club, and if the girl isn't absolutely to die for, whether it's my actually girlfriend, which she's hot, but whether it was that. <laughs> <laughs> or if it's, you know, if I'm with somebody, mm. it's hard for me to not pay attention to other people. Mm. I search for attention um, from other people. Mm. So. Yeah. But at the same time. <laughs> He's like, uh -huh. Yeah, the, he does. Yeah, time, he does. Yeah. At the same time, you know, I'm, you know, young. I have a lot to learn. I have a time to figure out what I want, who I want, how I'm going to get it. Open relationship would be great because I see myself wanting to continue the way I am and mm -hmm. if that's the case. Yeah. Finding that power relationship with someone with that so same gotta, mindset. You, you gotta poly. Taste, taste all the flavors. It's yeah. a new thing now. Poly's like the trend word, man. It's like, yeah. It's yeah. Right, Let's get that poly. Let's trend get on poly TikTok. Out. What's, yeah. that? What's that mean? Well, poly's like polyamorous where you don't have, ex you, you don't have exclusivity. You can love a lot of people equally. So it's not like you have one person and then there's like jealousy. It's like the concept that like even like Riley, the, my videographer, um, before he got replaced by Ruben, <laughs> okay, he, um, he's in a polyamorous relationship and he says he has a girlfriend and he's, she was in Seattle and she was literally having sex with another dude. But mm. he said it made him happy because she, he knows that she's being taken care of and she's happy and there's no jealousy, which I find hard to believe because it's, it's I, I don't know if I could do that. It's hard to believe how much you really care about them, but I mean, at the end yeah. of the day, you could like find a philosophy behind it really well. Like, like, oh, I've met this many people. I've seen life works this way. It doesn't really work for me. I totally. Let me go ahead and find somebody that, like, and finding isn't that. up my ass, and I don't have to be up theirs. And one day when it's time to meet up again, uh, we're both down. That sounds really cool. Yeah. Especially if the high-paced life of just wanting to have fun. And yeah, especially if we go to Germany and yeah. we want to just get crazy. If you're stuck yeah. with a partner that you have to FaceTime, you, yeah. know, you can feel really guilty if yeah, you want to have gonna, fun Yeah, she's going to be jealous when you get you know, pegged by a black forest cake or something. Yeah. She might get jealous hey. of the cake. You know? yeah. She's like, yeah. God, that cake. You She'll know? start a like, fucking fuck. hate crime. Am I pretty cakes? enough? I guess I could, I could never do an open relationship. I would way rather just like tell them how I feel about like wanting to, you know, be free, I guess. Yeah. Um, like if I'm going to commit to you, then like I'm fully committed. Wow. And yeah. like I would never like break that trust. Cause like oh, God. the last thing I would want to do is like cheat on you and make you feel like just Are you talking directly to Sarah right now? What's <laughs> <laughs> happening? If she, yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, I'm saying, I'm saying. What a like, good guy! What a good guy! He's yeah, just, yeah. No, I'm super loyal, like for yeah. sure. Once, you think you could once, be with one person the rest of your life? Um, mm. it's no. your penis inside one vagina. Nope. For the rest of your life, Unless never take it's it out. Big, never take it out. Super, that shit stays in there. You could. Think about that. Yeah, I mean, for me. 
Uh, it's an insanely hard question to answer. Everyone, of course, would probably say. I mean, you're you know, also fucking young. How old yeah, are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm 21. So you're like, also 21. Yeah. Yeah. I can't. I can't yeah. really answer that question. Like, yes or no. I mean, it's just a hard answer. So. Yeah, I can't really say yes or no. I mean, so you can't say yes or no. It's hard <laughs> Obviously, it's, yeah. it's very hard to answer. That's like, that's like big. Yeah, it's hard to answer that question. You know, yeah. I, I feel like there's a, only a handful of girls that you'll ever meet in your life that you really feel like you could see a bright future with and marry them. Yeah, and, that's um, the point. I mean, I'm serious. That's when why. I say a handful, I say like literally like a couple of girls. Yeah, I, I, I believe that. And, and it takes work and trust. I was like with my girlfriend, for example. Yeah. In the beginning, she was convinced I was gay. Oh, and she was like, she's correct. She, and she was right the whole time. So <laughs> I was like, you know, maybe you, I mean, you, you were right. You're right. I get it. Female intuition. You can't beat that shit. No, but like she was insecure about that a little bit in the beginning, you know, because I was very close. I'm very close to, I have a bromo. Uh, Travis, Travis Bryan, I used to tell this guy on my Instagram. We're so fucking close, like a relationship, you know? So that's like a very unconventional thing to be that close to a dude. And then it can trigger a little bit of insecurities, but you gotta just like have, trust somebody and it's all about open mindedness. When you say like, 100%. Really, when everything you say in really life, close, you know, how close? I mean, what do you mean? I mean, we have, um, I mean, we fucking like, fuck, you know, <laughs> not kidding. Oh, <laughs> we like, know, but we like, we watch movies together and like, I'm honest, he like massages me, we cuddle. I've kissed him too, you know. We've never had sex or anything, but it's very intimate, very close. Massages also, emotional intimacy. I'm talking more about emotional intimacy. Like, I'm right. on a, I call him my bro girlfriend because we're like, like the level of, like everything besides sex is like a girlfriend basically. And that's also sometimes what I realized about relationships. We sometimes put pressure on like having this one person that ticks all the boxes, you know, you gotta be sexually attracted to them, they're gonna be a good partner, you gotta have trust. Exactly. But yeah. I have this, everything from him, you know, and then like just the sex I get from my girlfriend, you know? <laughs> no, but like, I'm just saying wow. like, it, adds, it's, it added something to my life similar to a girlfriend, even though we didn't have but you're sex. You're single right now. I have a girlfriend right now. Okay, you do. Yeah, okay. yeah, I do and, a girlfriend now. But, she but, trusts me. We have like such an. I mean, fucking love her so much. She's like, she took like she's so um, open. Also, I mean, she's bisexual. Like, we shot like with Jeff. We went to Hawaii. She took photos and videos of Jeff naked in the bushes in Hawaii. Like we create together, we travel together. There's so much trust I there. I want to do that. And yeah, I think yeah, you need that level of trust. It's very, very difficult. Yeah, that's why I shout sure. out to Vida because it's so difficult to find somebody that like understands your lifestyle. Because my lifestyle, our lifestyle is very unconventional. Very. A lot of people, it takes, so like, you know, no, shout no out to one. Sarah and Vida for understanding that lifestyle. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's just find people that are good people, think the same way as you, and then build. No, she's, uh, that's she, it. It's definitely that's been it. like uh, like the you know having any relationship is like constant work and effort and you know it, it takes time to like just you know like build trust and build everything up and yeah. uh, it's it's um but it, I mean I feel like it just depends on the person you know like at the end of the day I think everything is worth it like when it comes to having that partner and like yeah she's definitely treated me the best I've ever been treated so. Nice. Yeah. I believe you, man. Shout out to Sarah. Shout out to Sarah. That's beautiful. That's fucking beautiful. All right, guys. I think honestly, I think that was that was awesome. We have like what for 50 minutes or something. Yo, thanks for coming to the podcast. Appreciate you guys. Any final words you want to share with the audience? Something. Well, hey. Shout out tomorrow for having us here. Uh, what what first flavor first. cake? Yeah. What flavor cake? What? What are we gonna fuck first? Apple pie or black forest cake? Oh, uh, oh wait. Would you Apple say black black forest what? Black forest cake. Oh, I thought you said it with the oh cream filled. Coke. No. Cake? Cock. Cock. <laughs> Cock. I'm just to be so long. He likes that bro, black It takes forest. me so long, bro. It takes the so black long. Forest. All right, guys. Uh, you can check out all their social. I'm going to put links below to their like OnlyFans, Instagram, Twitter, everything. Thanks for listening. Subscribe to the, to the channel. And check out a new episode. We have more content on this show.